Hey guys, so this is another one of my custom voice follower tutorials. Uh, last time I kind of talked about how to uh, make the meeting quest, uh, which I realized in that uh, tutorial I left a few things out. So this time I'm actually going to add just a, a few more final touches for that tutorial in here. And then we are also going to talk about different idle uh, dialogue. Uh, so first off, the few things I missed in the uh, meeting quest thing is um, I actually got rid of the mod that I was uh, testing with these tutorials. However, you know, these are ju this is just kind of an example and everything. Um, it's kind of the basis like we had before. Uh, one big thing is that um, once we finish the, uh, the meeting quest, let's say we had it go up to stage 20. That is whenever we finish talking with the follower, when we have accepted their help and we're finally gonna, you know, we can finally ask them to be our follower. For that, once, once we get to this one, we're gonna click on the login tree, right click, click new. You don't need to worry about any of this stuff. Um, you can go in more depth on this stuff with different tutorials, but what we really wanna work, focus on is this complete quest. Um, now for, I don't know, I don't think this was described in Joseph Russell's video, um, but th this quest right here, the D follower, this is where we'll have our follower, you know, have the follow me dialogue or the, uh, I need you to do something dialogue. We don't want that dialogue to go off before we finish the meeting quest. So because of that, what we're going to go ahead and do is go down to quest dialogue conditions under the quest data page, right click new. And we are going to put in the function get get quest completed. We're going to click invalid, and then we are going to find our quest we just made. In which case, this one is uh oh, I named it meeting D, and we want it to equal one. Um, if we had it at zero, that would mean as long as the quest is not finished, this dialogue, the dialogue here could go off. But we want it to only go on while the quest, once the quest is completed. So we'll set that one and keep it there. So one thing, the first thing we want to do uh, before we do anything else. Um, oh, I forgot to put this one as get quest completed. Always want to do that. No. But other than that, um, unless some other actor is talks during this quest, Another thing you want to do, just to kind of make your life easier, especially with loads upon loads upon loads of uh, follower idols or dialogues, is you want to make sure that the that actor will be connected to that piece of dialogue. Um, if we just made a piece of dialogue right now and didn't put this next condition down, that means anybody could say it. And that small condition is get is ID. It's the first one that comes up when you make a new condition on here you click on invalid and then look up your actor click ok make sure it's equal to one and make sure this at the very top if it's not at the very top you can move it with these little arrows here and make sure this at the very top the reason that this is so important is that if not if all your dialogue is not attached to your follower it can cause a bug to where if you talk, if the player talks to a statue or some sort of static object, it could crash the game. This happened a lot with Cash actually, and it took me so long to figure out the answer. And that was because I actually, I use this condition on every piece of dialogue with Cash. It took so long because Cash has hundreds of lines. And, you know, if I didn't know which line didn't have it, it could take me hours just to figure that out. This way, though, it makes it so much easier to be able to f just instantly attach every piece of dialogue with Cash or the follower you're making. So, let's see what first piece of dialogue we're going to do. Accept favor and refuse favor. Um, I know Joseph Russell in his tutorial, again, go watch it if you haven't yet, he goes over on the, on the scripting and the dialogue to make your follower do a uh, certain actions for you saying like I need you to do something but I don't know if he actually talked about you know what they'll say if they refuse or accept it within this sort of thing there are two there are three different ways a follower will react to uh I need you to do something 
they have the accept to where they will do it and you know you, they kind of say this right after you tell them what to do and they will do that they're about to go do it the refuse which i have it labeled as unable to do it as in um you know you point at a you point at a wall and tell them to go wait there they are unable to wait like on the wall so they will say it as if like you know well i can't do that and then we have the morally won't do it this option can actually be edited inside of the actors tab if you go to yes ai data and go to morality there is any crime, violence against enemies, property crime only, and no crime. No crime means they will not accept any crime. This means killing, stealing. Property crime, I believe, is, is that they will not steal or attack. Violence against enemies, I think that one is just they will only attack enemies. And any crime is they don't care if it's stealing or attacking an innocent person, they'll do it. Um, this is where that refuse morally comes in. So, how we do these is, wrong tab, <laughs> so how we do these is we will go back to the hellos, and which case, I try and keep the follower uh, dialogue and the hello dialogue separate. What you will want to do, though, is the favors, accepting, refusing, I put that in the follower. I don't, I think that's something you will want to do. Um, I don't know if it causes any problems if it's in a different folder most likely it does so i wouldn't really test it um so better be safe you know keep it in the same tab that the dialogue topic i need you to do something it's in and for that we're going to go over to favors we're going to go under this topics and right click new topic now it's going to come up with this list um and for this one we're going to click on agree and, you know, kind of set it to where it's something you'll remember. So now we have this piece of dialogue. We're going to right click new. So you just told them I need you to go. Uh, I need you go to attack this bandit. They'll say, sure, I can do that. Um, what you will want to do is put set it down as goodbye and random. This means that if you're in a in talking with them currently it will automatically take you out of that talk bubble or the top topics and the talking topics. And the random means that there can now be more than one piece of dialogue and it will pick it at random. We'll click OK. And that's pretty much it. You know, the whole uh, setting up dialogue is the same as the uh, the follower topics within Joseph Russell's video. Um, and so it's kind of the same with all the others, you know, new topic, go to moral refusal. That's where, you know, their morality takes place. And, you know, it's kind of the same. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a pretty easy thing to be honest. Um, to be honest, I don't know, uh, what some of these others do. Um, but you know, they can always be found on the creation kit. Uh, I believe it's a creation kit wiki. Uh, I actually have. So it's creationkit.com. Um, and you can find, uh, like through the creation kit.com what each of these does. Um, I just kind of Google creation kit and then, you know, favors or creation kit, stuff like that. And it'll let you know what the other ones are. The next thing we're going to go over is, yeah, let's see what's next on the list. So the next one is combat. The combat is actually set into two different tabs. And we're actually going to go over to the hellos for this one. So the first one on our list was actually combat starting. And for this tab, we'll be using combat starting, lost enemy, and end combat. And they are actually not labeled this under here, but what we'll want to go is detection. We'll right click new. And just to let you know, normal to, normal to combat would be starting combat. And this is kind of the same as like, you know, the 
the favors and everything. It's ma it's just a matter of what each of these does, to be honest. Uh, normal to combat is, you know, starting a fight. Combat to normal is whenever combat is ended. And combat to lost is when the player has lost an enemy. Now, there are different ones. Um... And, you know, you can always play around or try and Google what these other ones do. Those are just the ones I kind of stick to, though, especially when starting out. So the next ones are actually combat-based stuff. And in that, we'll find that under the combat tab. Again, same thing, you know, start a new topic. You can see we have attack, which is where uh, the follower attacks somebody. Power attack is when they use their stamina to try and do a bigger attack. We have hit to where they are actually hit by an enemy. Uh, let's see. Taunt is when, you know, they're kind of just taunting an enemy during battle. And those are the main ones I... Oh. And Trespass is when a player is trespassing. Now, um, again, again, you know, a lot of these do different things. Some of these are actually obsolete, I believe. Um, like, Ally Killed, I know, is is one that just does not work, um, because Cash has some dialogue for that, and it it's obsolete. I googled it. It, it doesn't work and everything. Um, but some of these do work and all that, but, you know, again, those are just the ones I stick to. The next pieces of dialogue are going to be the Notice Corpse, Knocking Over an Object, Trespassing, Observe Combat, and Collision. These you can actually find under the MISC tab. Again, right click, new topic, and you see we can see them right here. Notice corpse, observe combat. We have our hellos, goodbyes. Oh, and then I couldn't find it for a while. I kept looking for collision. Collision is actually named actor collide with actor. Um, that was my bad. But yeah, so that's basically those different topics. The next thing we're going to do is idle topics, which this one is more of uh, conditioning. Um, but all of these, like, you know, if they say something while it's snowing, if they say something while they're in an animal den, if they say something while they're in a city or a town, all of those are going to be idle dialogue unless you want them to be connected to a hello or goodbye or something. Um, but those mainly go about, those can be anywhere. It's just a matter of conditioning them correctly. Um, but for, you know, for this sake, we're going to use idols for now. Be in the Miss tab, new topic. And it would be idle. And we're again just going to make a new topic thing. Right click new. And let's say I want the player, I mean, I want the follower to say something while it's snowing. So I'll say just look at that snow. And again, this could be them saying anything. They can see, boy, I love Whiterun, or, you know, such like that. Um, but for now, this is just a small example. You know, this is what we'll be using. Again, we want to always goodbye in random. Don't really need to have it be goodbye, you know. So in case you're talking to, you decide to go up and try and talk to them while they say this, you know, it automatically go out. But I kind of just said it as goodbye. You don't have to, you know. I think it's, it's, a, it's a little useless thing. It's just dependent on what you like doing. But for this one, the main thing we want is our conditions. This is going to be the huge thing that changes it. So for, con for conditioning, it's mainly for snow. We'll right-click new. And we'll need a certain condition function. Um, there are hundreds of condition functions. There's so many. And it's really fun to look at them and explore them. I will have a link in the, uh, in the video description. Of the different condition functions because you can find them online at creationkit.com like see this is all of them there are just so many but for now the main one we're going to use today is a very simple one is snow oh <laughs> is snowing for this one we don't need anything um if there's a certain subject it needs to be around it'll say invalid but for here since you know it's not really a complicated condition it doesn't need anything there for this we'll want to be equal to one and you would just press ok if you wanted the, the idle to take place while it wasn't snowing though you would make it zero the next uh, the next one I'm going to do is again a fairly simple one because I would want them to only say this while they are outside in the snow 
The next one I would do is, is in interior. And I would want this to equal zero because I would not want them to be in an interior while they say this. If they were, if I wanted them to say this while they were inside someplace, I would set it to one. It's just as simple as that. Um, and, you know, conditions are fairly complicated if you're not careful. So what I will have in the description of this video and also in the whole tutorial resources thing is a dialogue tutorial condition cheat sheet. Um, this is something I just wrote down to kind of help get those basic idols kind of together. And it will tell you what conditions you need and what you need them to equal to. And this will also be for things such as when you want to say something for morning, if you want them to say something in a certain location. So this is kind of just a simple thing. Um, you know, if you kind of want to go further than that, you can always, you know, try and Google it. You can try and look through the different condition functions or, you know, try and find me on Discord or something and I will happily, you know, help you with that. That's all I have for today. If you have any questions, I will have a link below to the Sidekicks of Tamriel Discord. There you can ask me questions on modding. I don't mind at all. Um, and I'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible. I hope this helped a bit. Hope it wasn't a bit too much random rambling and everything. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me comment down below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. And see y'all next time.